unexpected joy at dawn. Revolutionary guard shot a girl. On his way home from school, where he suffered some humiliation, Nee thought of stopping by the market to buy some things. However, the thought of Mansa alone at home changes his mind and he hurries on his way home. As Nee walks on fast, he notices that many people are headed in the market direction. It is a big crowd. He shouts to get the attention of a girl running towards the crowd. To find out the causes of the movement of such a large number of people, the girl is angered by what she considered a distraction. Nee is disturbed but tries to keep pace with the crowd. Eventually, he finds out what was going on. A girl is being held by some men. He asks a girl in front of him about those holding the other girl. She shouts back that they are guards. He wants to ask another question, but the girl is already running away fast. Ni nee sees the girl being held around by six guards carrying a gun and strings of ammunition. The girl, barely 10 years old, carries a pan containing second-hand clothing. The girl is led to a store of a woman who deals in second-hand clothing. The woman is terrified by the figure of the guards. She gets up and raises her palm in a gesture of plea to the guards. Their leader, heavily moustached and sporting dark glasses, announces that the young girl was caught selling her wares above control price. At this point, the girl points at a certain fat woman and the soldiers exclaim, So she is your daughter. The woman is confused and does not know what to say. To her own surprise and discomfort, she denies the girl. One of the soldiers pulls the girl and the pan falls from her head. As he fires a shot at her, the woman blinks uncontrollably. She is even afraid to cry. Then, there are cheers from the crowd. Nia is outraged and disappointed by the crowd's endorsement of such an action. He expects rage from the crowd, but none of this comes from them. Instead, there are shouts of return of justice, the eventual demise of corruption, a revolution surpassing all revolution and the like. Suddenly, Ni nee realizes that someone is grabbing him. It turns out to be an old Mama Akusia who was one of the Susu contributors in Ni's nee's expense bank. She demands her money from Ni nee and threatens to hand him over to the guards. Ni nee is scared and begins to pant. He pleads with the old woman to make it another day. As Mama Akosia tries to reach the leader of the soldiers, a young man obstructs her, thinking that the woman wants to come and beg. The leader of the soldiers raises his gun and points at the crowd, forcing people to run helter-skelter. Mama Akosia collapses and faints as people cause a stampede. Ni nee also falls down but quickly gets up and helps Mama Akusia who is about to be trampled upon. One of the soldiers charges at Ni nee, asking whether he was the one with the fat woman but Ni nee denies this strongly. As the crowd shouts further encouragement to the soldiers, Ni nee is confused and afraid. He asks someone nearby whether the government is aware of this kind of development. The man responds by accusing Ni nee of being a reactionary or an imperialist stooge. When Ni nee repeats the question, the man tells him to go and ask the soldier. He wonders whether Ni nee wanted to send his name to the authorities or write about him in the papers. He asks Ni nee to go home. A man standing nearby angrily raises his voice, declaring Ni nee a conservative and a spy. As the crowd presses on, Ni nee is swallowed up by the crowd. 
He tries to take the incident off his mind, but it is difficult. Realizing that the curfew is about to start, he returns to Linda's house nearby.